Hi guys. You there? Can you hear me and see me? Yes. Yes, excellent. That's amazing. Okay, um, you are like getting in. Están entrando ahorita ya los vi que esta es la última clase, creo que ya todos están algo cansaditos, terminando el módulo, la plataforma y así. So, um, yo sé que, que ahorita están como con el ánimo así como, oh my God, I'm so exhausted. I am too, yo también estoy como bien cansada. So I understand, así que yo los entiendo. But um, remember that this is like the last class at this point. Um, we learn everything that we needed to learn. Ya aprendimos, a este, en este punto ya aprendimos todo, todo lo que teníamos que aprender y la clase simplemente es un repaso del todo. ¿Ok? Un repaso del todo. Porque para este punto ustedes ya terminaron la plataforma. Si no la han terminado, ya mañana a más tardar la van a terminar. Y pues eh, ya solo les queda el final exam, que es el último examen, que es el que utilizan para darles el certificado al final. Pero eso, por supuesto, lo pueden adquirir en la plataforma. Hablando de clases, esta es la última clase de, nuestra, de nuestro módulo preintermedio 1. Así que vamos a hacer un súper resumen de muchas de las cosas que hemos visto. Eh, sobre todo quisiera que habláramos del presente progresivo, que fue uno de los topics que vimos, que hablábamos sobre las cosas que son rutinarias, ¿se acuerdan? Hablamos de eso, de rutinas, del trabajo, um, de las cosas que hago todos los días, and all of these things. We were talking about it. Um, you talk to me about it. So um, today we're going to have a little review and this is going to be like a practical class because I don't want to 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 speak a lot. Um, I just want you to remember how can you use all of the things that we saw, the vocabulary, of course, about the family, for example, or... Um, any other vocabulary that you learn about the readings that we saw. We saw a lot of readings and we're going to start with a little exercise about with um, like a reading. But first of all, um, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna remind you that you're going to use the present progressive in three ways. And, las rutinas diarias, esto solo es un recordatorio porque así lo vimos. Rutinas diarias, hechos generales, ok, rutinas diarias, hechos generales, o eh, eh, estados permanentes. Los estados permanentes son esas cosas que no están cambiando constantemente en el tiempo. Como por ejemplo algo que a usted le gusta, no cambia todos los días. Sí puede ser que un día cambie, pero no es que constantemente esté cambiando. For example, I like cats. I really, really love cats. So it's something that happened um, always, always. The present progressive is always, creo que no les estoy presentando. No, verdad, no les estoy presentando. Yo bien creída que les estaba presentando. Perdón. Ahora sí, I'm sorry. Yo con todo iba y no les había presentado a pantalla. Les decía... Um, when we are talking with present progressive and I'm talking about the permanent state, I'm talking about the things that doesn't change um, like in, in, in a period of time, like it's not changing all the time. For example, I like, I like cats. I really, really love cats. And that's a permanent state because that's not a thing that change every day. I like cats today. I love cats yesterday. I'm going to love cats tomorrow and maybe I'm going to love cats the rest of my life. So that's a permanent state. Eso es algo que es permanente, algo que no está constantemente cambiando, así como nuestros gustos. Um, hablando del presente progresivo, 
que pensé que tenía el slide del presente, del, del presente, per, del presente perfecto, les iba a decir, y no, es el simple present, Entonces, pensé que tenía ese slide aquí, pero no. Hablando del presente progresivo, les estaba hablando del presente, de, del presente simple, hablando del presente progresivo, Um, I just need you to remember that we are going to use it when we want to talk about press progressive actions, como acciones progresivas, or unfinished action, que son esas acciones que no se han terminado en el tiempo. Sí, como la clase de ahorita es una acción progresiva, porque la estamos llevando a cabo y todavía no se ha acabado. Okay, that's a progressive action. So this is the structure that you're going to use when you talk in... Uh, when you talk with present progressive. In positive, we use the subject, the verb to be, depending on the subject, the verb with ing, don't forget it, the verb with ing, and the complement. In negative, we use the subject, the to be in negative, you already know what is the to be in negative, the verb with ing, and the complement. And of course, when we are doing questions, we're going to use the to be first because that's the auxiliary of the tense. So you're going to use the to be first, then the subject, then the verb with ing, then the complement. Like if I'm saying, I am talking with, um, for example, I am talking with Amalia right now. Estoy hablando con Amalia ahorita. I am talking with Amalia right now. This is a positive action. I can say, I am not, I am not, talking with Amalia right now. I am not talking and that's something that is not happening, right? Algo que no está pasando. Okay. And oh, with questions, of course, I can I say, can, for example, I can ask to Cindy, okay, like, Cindy, are you talking? Are you talking with Amalia right now? Are you talking with Amalia right now? Okay, and this is present progressive, of course. This is a tense you already know. Um, we already saw that, and we did some exercise. If you remember when we were um, doing like a descriptions, we use the present progressive right there. So this is like, um, just try to remember what is it, why do we use it, and what's the structure. So uh, first of all, I need to know who wants, who has questions about it. No. Ok. Les voy a mandar esta estructura al chat antes que nada para que, para que no se les pierda. Ok. Para que la tengan por ahí la puedan tomar en cuenta cuando estemos haciendo nuestros ejercicios. So... Um, we're going to start with an exercise. Vamos a comenzar con un ejercicio práctico de, de, um, ay, de, del present progressive, ok? So, you are gonna ask, vamos a ver, permítanme, me salí, no era aquí, aquí estoy, ok? You're going to do five questions and five answers, ok? Vamos a hacer Cinco preguntas y cinco respuestas, ¿ok? En las breakout rooms, eso es grupal, no son individuales, son cinco en grupo, sí, en grupo. Por ejemplo, si le toca a Leticia, María, Marcos y Jessica, todos van a formular una pregunta, como por ejemplo, eh, What are you wearing today? Esa es la pregunta que todos decidieron que hacer. Y todos deciden que la respuesta va a ser... Uh, I am wearing a hat and a blue jeans, for example. Utilizando todo nuestro vocabulario, of course. Así que vamos a hacer cinco preguntas, cinco respuestas. ¿Ok? Do you have any questions? Esto es en grupo, así que las cinco preguntas y las cinco respuestas son en grupo. Questions about it? No questions. No questions. Ok, so we're going to do this. Esto discutanlo en grupo, discutan qué preguntas quieren hacer, con qué sujetos lo quieren hacer. No utilicen solamente el yo. Pueden utilizar a él, ella, mi mamá, mi hermano, mi tatarabuela, right? You can do it. You can do, um, you can use all the vocabulary, ok? Sean creativos con estas preguntas y respuestas. 
So we're going to do this. Go, guys. Ay, get into the breakup rooms, please. Si tienen alguna pregunta, siempre me la pueden dejar por el chat y siempre les veo.
Ok, you are here. Ahí les preguntaba por el chat si habían terminado, pero creo que no me respondieron. No sé si terminaron. Yes, we finished. Ok, perfecto. Tengo las diferentes rooms aquí, aunque vi que estaban algo cambiantes por um, la señal de que algunos salían y entraban y eso es normal que pase. Um, so don't worry, don't worry about it. Ok, so I would like to listen the questions and answers from the room number two. No, from the room number one. There was Cindy, Claudia, Elisa, Miriam, Jenny, and Jenny. Who wants to tell me the questions and answers? Ajá. Nadie las anotó. Uh, ok, me, me dice si me escucha. Le escucho. Uh, Are you listening music? Uh -huh. eh, la respuesta sería Yes, I am. Uh -huh. eh, the second, are you backing a car, a car for tonight? Uh -huh. eh, yes, I am backing a car for What happened? Is she eating chicken? Mm -hmm. No, she is. No, uh -huh. she is eating meat. Okay. Um, Is she cooking the dinner? Yes, she is cooking. Is she running every day? Um, yes, she is running. Okay, that's it, right? Thank you so much, Miriam. You did it great. Medio se, se me interrumpió un poquito esto y no sé si es mi micrófono o qué, pero se me interrumpió un poquito. Ok, let's um, listen the room number two. There was Erika, Leticia, Norma and Thomas. Yo sé que esta room estuvo un poco variante por lo mismo de que, de que es del internet, así que don't worry. ¿Quién está listo para decírmelos? Sé que solo habíamos dos y a la compañera le, no le funcionaba el... el, el, el... El micrófono. Ok, but you can tell me, Thomas. Es que no lo discutí con nadie, solo estoy revisando y entendiendo lo que era. Ah, so you didn't... Um... Uh, you didn't do the, the, the questions and answers. For eh, example, eh, eh, a, a example. For example, I no. She's exercise. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. She do exercise. Doing, uh -huh. doing. Uh -huh. Doing. She she doing exercise. Uh -huh. eh, and negative four is. She's she isn't exercising. Okay. The question she isn't doing. She isn't doing. She isn't doing exercise. In the in the in the the questions is what silver is she doing exercise? Ah, uh, is she doing exercise? Yeah. Excellent. Okay, thank you so much. It was great. It was only one, but you did it by yourself. I don't know what happening with this, but I know that it's because of the internet sometimes. 
Okay, so let's listen to room number three. There's Amalia, Evers, Catherine, Marcos, and Maria Vilma. Who wants to tell me the questions and answers? Okay. Um, and um, the question number one, are we going to the zoo next Saturday? La respuesta es yes, we are going to the zoo next Saturday on Sunday. Uh -huh. Number two. Mm, what TV program are you watching right now? I am watching the match between Guatemala, mm, who do you sell versus Picha? How can I say what? Eh, decir Guatemala versus El Salvador, pero no sé cómo decir versus en inglés. Versus. <laughs> versus. Ah, Guatemala versus El Salvador. Um, are you traveling to the beach in the summer? Yes, I'm traveling to the Tunco Beach in my vacation. Uh -huh. Are you eating in class? I am not eating in class. Solo formulamos cuatro. Okay, está bien. Remember, is eating, eating, eating. No es eating. 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 Okay. Excellent. Okay, thank you so much, Maria Vilma. You, but you did it great. You did it great. Okay, you are learning. Um, the pronunciation is like the thing that we must try to, uh, to fix. So don't worry. Okay, everything was great with this. So I have this conversation that we're going to read about families. And um, I'm going to show you this screen. Did you see my screen now? Yes. 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 Perfect. Okay, this is a little conversation about asking about the families. That was a topic that we saw. And we're going to read and practice this. So for this, I need to volunteer someone to be Rita and someone to be Sue. Okay. Norma, you're gonna be Rita and Thomas, you're gonna be Sue. Go. Go, okay. Uh Tell me about your brother and sister, Sue. Well, my sister works for the government. Oh, what does she do? I am not sure. She is working in a very secret project right now. Wow. And that, uh, what about your brothers? He is a wildlife, a wildlife photographer. Oh, what an interesting family. Uh, can I meet them? Oh, no. My sister's away. She's not, she's not working in the United States this month. And uh, your brothers? He's traveling in the Amazon. Okay. okay. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. Okay, they are talking about the families. Um, the people who has brothers and sisters. Who wants to tell me what they um they do? ¿Qué hacen sus hermanos? Cuéntenme. For example, I I have three three siblings. Um, Denise is studying um. Mercadeo Internacional, I think. Um, Adara is in the high school. And uh, me, I am studying in, 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 I am studying international relations. So what about your brothers and your sisters? Who wants to tell me about your brothers and your sisters? Okay, teacher. 
my 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 sister. I I have a uh, two simple. Uh -huh. uh -huh. My sister is older older sister. Uh, she is a doctor, general doctor. Um, she is very intelligent. Mm -hmm. uh, my brother is an architect. Okay, uh -huh. architect. My architect. God. Uh huh. Um, they are, they are very old. <laughs> really? <laughs> you are you are the youngest. Yes. Um, oh my God! <laughs> I am the oldest in my family. I'm the um, first. <laughs> I am the the big the big sister in my family. <laughs> no, I am a um, young sister in my family. <laughs> okay, excellent. Um, it's good that you can enjoy that you are pretty young, um, than your brothers and sisters. Um, mm -hmm. I'm, I I am the older one, so uh, sometimes people think that Denise is um older than me uh, because she is like taller and um she is um I don't know um she looks like a little bit old I think <laughs> and, and people... more serious <laughs> yeah yeah of course uh, she are you she... very happy <laughs> yeah she is more serious more like more serious yeah yeah, okay. and I'm so smiley. That's part <laughs> of me to be so smiley. So people um people um assume that she is the older and I am the middle mm -hmm. one, but now I am the oldest. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Great. It's great. Okay. okay. Who else wants to talk about your siblings? No one else? No one else. Okay. There was like a little speaking activity. And this is an individual speaking activity. Vamos a tener una speaking activity individual también. This is, imagine that you are visiting another country and tell me what are you doing here? Uh, what are you doing there? Sorry. Imagínense que están en otro país. Cuéntenme qué están haciendo. Like, for example, I am in Hawaii right now and I am laying in the sand and drinking coconut water while I am see the sea and the weather is pretty hot. I'm pretty warm, but I'm really enjoying this view, for example. That's my 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 example. At least stress sentences. Uy, me da risa cuando mezclo el español con el inglés. At least three sentences. Aunque sea, tienen que ser um, tres, tres oraciones. Sí, perdón. Okay. So we're going to do this y es rapidito, okay? Para esto no vamos a tener tanto tiempo. So go there.
Oh, yeah, microphone, microphone. Okay, who wants to tell me the exercise? Um, imagine that you're visiting another country. What are you doing there? A volunteer? Thomas, okay. So, I suppose. <laughs> I suppose. Uh, I suppose uh, I'm traveling in Turkey. In the city Istanbul. Mm -hmm. So, I will visit the famous place. For example, I I will visit the temple Mosque Blue. Is a beautiful place. So, uh, I will visit the temple Hagia Sophia. Is another another uh, magical place, and I will visit to uh, the place Galata Tower. Uh huh. Is 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 fantastic this this display. In the end, that's it. I I I will shopping in the Grand Kersey Bazaar. Uh -huh. Is another another famous yes uh, uh, place. I know about it. That sounds great. I never thought to go to Turkey. Uh, it, it must be interesting to go to Turkey. Oh my God. I'm going to consider it if someday I need to go to somewhere. Maybe Turkey going to be a really good option. Istan okay. Istanbul is the city the most popular in the world yes of course yeah. istanbul is the more po is the most popular city in the world for turkey of course yeah i'm gonna consider it okay thank you so much thomas um we don't have too much time to hear another one but first of all i need to know if you have questions tienen preguntas Okay, mm -hmm. so, si no tienen preguntas, solamente terminar diciéndoles que ha sido un placer para mí ser su maestra durante este módulo. Esta es nuestra última clase y yo creo que ya todos están sacando sus, uh, sus certificados en la plataforma. Así que ha sido un honor para mí estar con ustedes. Espero haberles ayudado, que hayan aprendido, que mi metodología no sea tan aburrida y que realmente se lleven cosas importantes de las que he dicho aquí no olviden creer en ustedes mismos lo más importante siempre es creer que ustedes pueden mientras crean en ustedes mismos todo es posible practiquen mucho, practiquen los números, practiquen el vocabulario practiquen los tense, háganlo seguido para que no se les olvide pero sobre todo no olviden que ustedes lo están haciendo bien y su progreso siempre va a ser importante Así que un placer haber estado con ustedes este mes. Espero encontrármelos después, tal vez. See you someday. Thank you, teacher. Thank Gracias, you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Bye. 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 Bye.